Hello, my name is Rudy, and welcome to Let's Play Oxygen Not Included, the agricultural update. We are here with our hydrogen cooling system. So after I got everything set up, I found that these thermoregulators kept on overheating and breaking. And then the duplicates had to come down here and, you know, uh, rebuild, uh, re re repair them using up all my gold amalgam. And I just, I don't think the thermoregulators can go here. I think I need to move them somewhere else. It is pretty hot in this region of the map. And uh, these wheeze warts, I put them down here, but, you know, it's going to take them a while to cool down the area, and it's kind of pointless. What we should do instead is put the thermal regulators here in this ice biome and just pump the gas over there and pump it back. Fairly, fairly straightforward proposition, I think. So we seem to figure out how we're going to get into the ice biome. I guess we'll just, uh, I guess we'll just uh, deconstruct this wall here. Right? Are there any gas pipes that are going to get in the way? No. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah, deconstruct the wall. And then we're going to have to... We're going to dig our way over. Deconstruct all, please. Doesn't seem to be working, as far as I can tell. There we go. Let's see. We're going to have to dig... Probably dig up like this area and then dig in this direction we have to avoid the chlorine okay this should work out perfectly i think this will be great as i'm quite fond of saying it is a great day to be below ground is what i have to say about this okay and we'll need some ladders of course we should put the ladders over there cancel that I'm just worried about this water over here. I don't want I don't want it to get broken open and escape. Okay, that looks pretty good, I think. So we can get them working on that. And let's see, the base is getting filled with polluted oxygen. Oh, another cool thing. We have finished. We've we've gotten like 927 sleet wheat grain from our harvest in the previous episode, which I didn't really talk about. So what we're going to do is we're going to queue up a bunch of frost buns over here, which just takes sleet wheat grain. They're quality poor food, but I think my duplicates will be quite happy with that level of quality. Oh, they, they're all expecting standard food. Some of them are expecting poor, but hey, the frost buns will be much better than just say, you know, uh, pickled meal, which is grizzly quality or gristle. Oh, gristle berries are standard quality. We should make some gristle berries if we have the berries. We have five briar seeds. Very good. I guess my food quality is of little concern. I would like to... We need more fertilizer, don't we? I guess we'll need to make some fertilizer makers. We should get this, uh, this system all fixed, though. Let us uh, disable these buildings so they don't keep using up our electricity and getting repaired with the gold amalgam. No need to waste our gold amalgam on something that's just going to keep on breaking. So, supposedly we have insufficient oxygen generation. Oh, you know what? Did I put a pump? Yeah, I put the uh, the filter down here. What we should do is we should put a Atmo switch up here. So we're not constantly running this pump. Okay, deconstruct that wire in the middle, please. And then we'll put in an at. Atmo switch. Atmo switch alpha. That'll just be... That'll be fantastic. So we do lack fertilizer. Where can we get more fertilizer? Well, this is my priority right now. I don't want them wasting time getting fertilizer. Well, I guess, um... I have no... We can just mine some fertilizer. That'll be simple. It's an easy way to get some fertilizer. Oh wow, there's a lot of fertilizer. I thought we mined out all this fertilizer. Look, this is there's a lot of good stuff here. Yee. Let's get all this good stuff. And you can go to bed. All right, so we're gonna run out of. Oh man, yeah, we are running low on water. Coal. We have no coal. That's the issue. 
Let's get somebody, if we unlock this door, then we can get somebody in here to pick up all this coal. Like, we got ten, so much coal in here. This little, the little fellow's been eating a lot of coal. Or produced, he's been pooping coal. Ah, yes, let's put this at 500 grams. So if the gas pressure is above 563 grams, this pump will activate. And since the pump can only pump 500 grams per, you know, pump, then uh, that, that'll make sense. Okay, yes, we have coal power. We've fired up the coal power plants. Good stuff. We have nowhere near the fertilizer we need. So, I mean, polluted oxygen, it's kind of a problem, but not really. We could put some... We could definitely put some... Air deodorizers around here and there. Like, we could put one right there. Put one right there. Put one right there. I'm quite fond of air deodorizers, anyway. Man, this is quite... A long journey. We should, uh, just set that door to be always open so it doesn't waste time. Doors unopen. Yeah, this is quite a long commute to get to this job site. Oh man, uh, we just found a mother load of algae. How did I not notice this? I probably noticed it and made comment about it and I just forgot about it. So I think we should definitely make way towards that algae. Let's put on some priority six ladders. Let's go down here. And let's dig this out. Because it'll make it a bit easier on us. Instead of having to go for... Instead of having to convert slime to algae, we can just use this algae right there. Because, I mean, we, we have all these great algae structures that, you know, we have these things that consume algae, the terrarium, so we might as well utilize them. And if we can get some algae and do it, let's... I mean, all the more power to us. So, yeah, it's taking a while to get there. I mean, there's plenty of work for the dupes to do. You know, let's, let's get a new duplicate, how about? Because we have plenty of food. Let's get someone, ideally... An ideal candidate would be excellent at digging. But if we get Lindsay, Lindsay has good, 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 good athletics, and she is only expecting grizzly food. Yeah, let's go for Lindsay. Welcome aboard, the technician. She has a bit of the technical know how, so to speak. And she'll become good at digging. Yes, yeah, to work my duplicates. Efficiency has been increased fourfold with the opening of this manual airlock. And there's a ton of polluted oxygen around here, which I guess is good. Polluted oxygen is better than no oxygen. Ah, the pump has been removed from the water. Yeah, we need to get this sort of this water system online as soon as we can. So we're gonna need to build another liquid pump anyway. We put it. I don't. I don't know why we did not build a liquid pump at the lowest point in the first place. Bit bit foolish of us. Yes. All right. Where's our liquid pipes? Oh. Okay. I guess we're gonna go take a crazy route like that. Now, I wonder, maybe, like, I don't know, I'm not sure where all this polluted oxygen is coming from. I guess it's being... What? I don't know. Where, where is this polluted oxygen coming from? Is it coming from down here? Is it wafting upwards? But, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think that polluted oxygen, I don't think it should rise. We have no slime or polluted dirt up here. Hmm. Man, look at that. We got the decorous section and the terrible section. So much bad decor. It's because of those uh, heavy watt wires. I personally think the heavy watt wires look kind of cool, but the duplicates don't seem to think so. It's this thing that's producing polluted oxygen. Oh, it consumes polluted oxygen. But what does it produce? It produces slime. I guess it's good to have a puffed flying around consuming polluted oxygen, but I'm pretty sure they... Uh, produce slime, which would result in more polluted oxygen. Which doesn't seem too good. Alright, we've hit the algae! Excellent, we have... almost a thousand kilograms of algae now. This is perfect. This is just what we needed... to make the base much nicer. 
Now the dupes will have plenty of O2 as they venture forth on this journey of digging and discovery. And we can pick another duplicate. Nice. Because we, we took so long to pick the other duplicate. Oh! Maximum! Good at digging. Grizzly food quality expectations. Okay, let's get him. Maximus Digger. Maximus Digby. That's his name. Welcome. Here's your free gift bag. Enjoy your stay forever. Oh, we can plant another blossom. I'm worried that my blossoms aren't going to do too well with the lack of fertilizer. Oh, you just harvest Nikola just harvested a bristleberry and ate it. What a complete slob. I guess it's my fault. I did not give him any uh, places to eat food. And we'll have so much algae. Perfect. This is beautiful. The base is looking much better. Look at all this polluted O2. I mean, I'd expect the duplicates to consume it all, right? Oh yeah, we'll need to make some more beds for the new the new arrivals. And we should dig all this out for once. That'll be good to finally get that taken care of. Alright, well, it's time to... We're going to increase the priority of all this right now. So how cold is it? Yeah, it's really cold. We want to put our new our new structures very deep into the biome. It's full of carbon dioxide. Okay, I'm going to construct these new thermoregulators out of copper also. And I guess we can maybe space them apart nicely. Put some room between them all. Oh man, the dupe. Oh man! Le Lyra's gotten stuck. We gotta get her out of there. Call to action. Oh yeah, she can take care of herself. Who? Wait, is that Lyra? Or somebody else? Okay, that was just Lyra. Man, where did all this polluted water come from? Oh, ho, ho. well, it's all gonna jump down there. What a disgusting working conditions. Such con disgusting working conditions. Such a vast ice biome, too. This, this is fantastic. Okay, well, we, we gotta get the gas pipes hooked up. Gotta get the gas works in line. Where's our... Let's use insulated gas pipes to maybe... So, like, the... I don't know. I think insulated gas pipes might be the best way to go. Alright, so the white one is the intake. And then we got the output. Okay, I think we did it. We just gotta wait. We gotta deconstruct. Let's just deconstruct all this garbage. Oh yeah, we need we need wires too. Can't forget the power wires. So instead we can just reroute these electrical wires just along this conduit. Good stuff. And I guess while they're sleeping, I can finish getting these pipes properly hooked up. Hey, they didn't deconstruct that yet. Damn it. I'm just going to go around it. Because I want to get these pipes set up so I don't need to think about them anymore. Okay. Great. Just another day in the colony. We have Joshua making the delicious frost buns for everybody. What else we got going on? We got our... I wonder if I should just have, like, 
three duplicates specifically designated for power generation. Like, uh, I, guess, I guess tinkering is the skill for that, right? Which one is it? Power generation? They're all very good at power, except for... Except for Maximus, Digby, and Lindsay. And Destructor. All the other ones can be doing power. Not Joshua, though, because he's the cook. Yeah, Joshua only does cooking. Any Anyone that should not... Hmm, there's some that should not be doing building. I feel like. And some that should not be doing delivery. But of course, if they never do those skills, they'll never level up. But I... Maybe that'll... It'll make things slightly more optimal. Okay, we got everyone building the pipes. It's very exciting times, because we are almost ready to fire up the system. Hypothermia. They're just being flooded with all this coal polluted water. But hey, w once you guys get this done, it'll be time to relax. All right, the system is fully operational. There it goes, there it goes the hydrogen. We will now be circulating cold hydrogen throughout our little thing of a thing, 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 thing. So what is it? What is it? It's coming. It's the uh, the hydrogen is twenty seven point six, and then it comes out at minus eighteen point seven. Amazing. Then it's gonna go through all the system, cool things down. You know, pretty soon we'll be able to bring the water in. Perfect. And we can control our pump using this switch here if we want to. This is great. And let's see, our, and we got this great power hookup too. Like we're going through the through the transformer here so we make sure the wires don't overheat themselves or overload themselves. Beautiful. So let's see, the hydrogen here is at minus six. Up here, it's at 30. It's gonna take a while for the whole thing to get set up. In the meantime, we'll just have the duplicates relax in the base. Maybe we'll find some, I guess we should go looking for some fertilizer now. Maybe make some fertilizer makers. Hmm. Gotta be some I wonder if we will have enough power. We got the coal working, we got... We have plenty of hydrogen coming in from this whole system up here. Hydrogen O2 comes down here and gets filtered out by the filter. Hydrogen goes to the power and to the cooling system. O2 goes throughout the base. We have a very well oxygenated base. I guess maybe we should start picking up all of our garbage, right? You know what, let's um, let's deconstruct all this here. I want to redo this area. And we can dig this out. We're gonna put a bunch of storage compactors down here. Uh, food has decayed. That's kind of a good problem to have, you know? You have so much food that it, it, it just decays. And I, I guess I, I guess you can, like, put, um... If we rotate this airlock... Like, we, we want to stop the polluted oxygen from coming out of here. I'm not sure how it works. I guess we would need to deconstruct this ladder segment. Yeah, that works. And then, of course, it's going to be slightly slower for them to get down here, but whatever. We'll build a ceiling here. Deconstruct this pump there. Okay, you're just going to sit down there? What are you doing, Lindsay? You can get out of there. I don't see what the issue is. 
What is wrong? Okay, there we go. What is wrong with Lindsay? Is Lindsay just decided that she's had enough? And that she just wants to end it all? Certainly hope not. Let's dig out this fertilizer. Okay, so what are we going to store in these compactors? I guess we, we want to definitely keep a bunch of our slime down here. We're going to keep slime, polluted dirt, and rot piles. So let's copy those settings. And then I guess in these ones, we'll, just, we'll store everything except for liquefiables. And that should be good. It's getting nice and chilled. Okay, I have an idea. We're going to do some ice mining, right? I think what would be really neat is we're going to tap into this geyser now. Let the water flow into here. It's getting cool, but it's not very cold yet. But also we can store like a bunch of liquid ice down here that would melt. And I think that might be pretty awesome if we did something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a storage compactor right here. And we're just going to put a bunch of liquid ice in there. And that should be pretty cool. I hope. Or no, let's not put it up there. Let's put it a bit lower. Let's put it down there. I'm not sure if this is actually going to work, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. So let's start digging this out. We need to uh, deconstruct all of this, I think. And then we'll dig this out. Okay, here we're going to store liquefiables. Ice and snow. So let's get some people harvesting a bunch of ice and snow. We have ice and snow stored down here. But we can maybe get ice and snow from other places as well. Like, oh, right, right down here. Yeah, let's get all this. Let's dig all of this out. And hopefully some of it will get stored down here. Oh, and uh, we could sweep this stuff up. Yeah, let's get that all swept up. Let's sweep it away. And then once we dig this all out, it's, the water's going to flow down here and drip in and get, hopefully get cooled down. Hey, is is our, even, is our pump even hooked up? Yeah, we need to hook up our liquid pump to the regular water system. That'll be simple. Yeah, because we're, we're running deathly low on water. And hey, we're even out of algae too. How about that? Well, let's get some more algae. We'll perhaps be building some algae, uh, some some bio distillers pretty soon to convert the algae, to convert slime into algae. All right, guys, come on! I would like I'd like to see some what the water must flow. I would like to see some of that pretty soon. Should be some exciting stuff. Let's navigate this obstacle course. I guess we could put a tile here, right? And dig this out. How cold are we getting anyway? We, I mean, it'd be nice if we were colder, but that's okay. Hmm, I guess we're gonna need to deconstruct this and dig even lower, right? Like that. We only want to let in a little bit of water. There it goes! Yes! The water is getting in. Oh man, yeah, it's, it's, it's heating everything up now. Well, that's why we only leave let in a little bit. So, I mean, this is going to take a long time to cool down. But at least we have something in place, so... Long term, it should be okay. And the geyser will just keep on producing water and it'll slowly work its way in. Okay, so let's see. The water starts off at 49.6 degrees Celsius. Down here, it's at 32.5. So it's gotten some... It's cooled down significantly already. Which is much, much good. I know those aren't good... I know those aren't the best words, but... 
I don't have the best words on like a lot of other people. And we're just waiting for them on that, on the water. There's water. Okay, so the pipes aren't even fully built yet. We're still waiting on that. They'll get to it eventually though. I have faith in the duplicants. Okay, well that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching that thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments and next time we will continue to see how this system performs and get some more water. And we'll probably do some uh, fertilizer manufacturing and bio distillation. So it should be very exciting. Again, thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up and have a great day.